guys, welcome back to my channel, and thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, a wonderful night, whatever time it is where you are. Um, you guys can tell from the way I'm coming at you with the hair pulled back, the eyebrows done, and the eyelids prepped and ready that we are getting ready to get into a review and a swatch of the latest Bad Habit Beauty Palette by the name of Divine. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this palette. Isn't this pretty? One thing I love about Bad Habit, they always take the time to make their palettes really, really pretty. Like the Aphrodite, the um, Athena palette, just all the palettes that they do, I like the fact that they take the time to do something really, really pretty. I think this one is probably my favorite so far just because it has two of my favorite colors, black and gold. And I like the design. It's kind of dope. It's really neat. So anyway, you guys... This is the latest installment from Bad Happy Beauty. I have not opened this yet, but I did look on their um, page on Instagram, and I saw the palette, and won't lie to you, at first when I found out the palette that they were duping, I was a little confused because the original palette that they were duping was created like two years ago, so I was kind of in my feelings like, why are they duping a two-year-old palette? And I was mad because, not mad, let me not say mad, I love, I love Bad Happy products. I was just really confused because I, there's a palette that just came out that I kind of want them to dupe. And a lot of people on the channel, I mean on the page, want them to dupe it. I see a lot of people requesting the same thing that I requested and I'm just like, ah. But my mind changed when I, um... Looked at the palette on on their on the Shop Hush page. I was just like, okay, it's pretty. Like I get it. So I was like, I'm gonna buy it anyway because I love like I buy almost everything Bad Habit does. Like I, I won't even lie. And I was just like, I'll buy it anyway because I'm sure that somebody on my channel is going to want to see it swatched. And it was pretty to me, and it was colors that I love to wear. So yeah, but. <sighs> I'll be so happy when they finally dupe that palette that everybody is talking about on their page. I'm just saying, bad habit. <laughs> okay, but anyway, all right, let's talk about the palette at hand. So, you guys, this is called the Divine Palette. It is a net weight of 0.63 ounces, which equals 18 grams, and it is an 18 color eyeshadow, pa eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette. And so, yeah, the outside looks like this. And let's open it up. I haven't seen it in person, like I told you, so I am curious to see how it actually looks in person. Oh, if I can get it open, let's see. Oh, don't you hate when you first order one of these palettes and the packaging is just super tight? Jeez, please. All right. And so the actual palette looks just, oh, God, that is, oh, that's so I love, love, love. To be honest, too, I collect a lot of their palettes, not just because I love the quality, but I just, I love the design. These are beautiful. They really, really make their palettes look, you know, like they cost more than what they are. They, they take the time. All right, you guys. So let's open it up. Take the protective cover off. And yes, she is beautiful. Let me show you guys first before we get farther into it. She is a beautiful palette. I won't even lie. She was worth it. She's beautiful. These are all like the colors that I like to wear. Like, and oh wow, some of these colors look different in person, like a little more, um, I don't want to say pigmented, but like they look like um, duochromes or something. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. But what I'm going to do first, you guys, is I'm going to swatch them as usual and tell you the names of them as we go along. And from what I'm reading, these are all names like from Greek gods or something. Like I see a few names that I recognize, but I see some that I don't. But yeah, they look like Greek, like a mythology type of feel. So um, yeah, it comes with the mirror as you guys see. And yeah, I'm going to swatch them row by row and then I'll just tell you the names as we go along. So let's jump into the swatches so that we can jump into the eye look. All right, let's get started. Before we get started, I forgot to let you guys know the price. Like, that's probably one of the most important things, right? So, I paid $16 for this palette, and I feel like $16 is great for an 18-color eyeshadow palette. So, yeah, the palette was $16, and yeah, now let's get into these swatches. So, the first three are called Thea, Frasia, and Ascension. 
Oh, and right off the bat, I can see that these are very soft, so I have to be careful. I have a very bad habit of, um, like, digging into them. Oh, my gosh. So these are really some soft, creamy pigments. Oh, yeah, these are pretty. So, yeah, we have Thea, Frasia, and Ascension, if you guys can see that. Ooh, yeah, these are super soft and creamy. All right, next. Next three, you guys, are Eos, Heretic, and Gaia. Now, these three are mattes, and I'm going to tell you what I tell you in each of my videos, which we know by now about bad habit palettes. They have fallout. Like, you, you already know it. I know it. You know it. Their mattes have fallout. But me personally, and this is just my own personal choice, I don't mind it because I know that because it's not an expensive palette, there's going to be some fallout. And I don't mind it. Like, I know how to work with it and make it do what I want it to do. So, yeah. Eos, Heretic, and Gaia. Those are the next three. And now, you guys, I'm going to move into the second row. Okay, so in the second row, we have Sacred, Poseidon. And Hades. So let's see. Sacred, Poseidon, and Hades. Look at Poseidon. That is so pretty. Oh, wow. I knew it was a dual chrome. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, you guys. So we have Sacred, Poseidon, and Hades. And if you look at Poseidon, it is a dual chrome of green with a brown flip and it is beautiful oh yes okay all right next three up next we have Enyo Hestia and Ayo okay and I'm noticing too you guys I feel like part of this kick up might be my fault because I will not lie to you when I say that I am heavy-handed with the swatches and I don't need to be heavy handed with these because these are pretty creamy. I think it's me going into these um, shades so deep. I'm really starting to think that. Okay, so Inya, Hestia, excuse me, Hestia and Ayo. Inyo, Hestia and Ayo. And that you guys is the second row. Do I see that? Oh my God, that is beautiful. All right, last row. Three in the last row are Persephone, excuse me, Luna, and Relic. Persephone, Luna, and Relic. So let's put these there. Persephone, Luna, and Relic. They are nice. Really, really nice. And last three. Coming right up. So last but not least, you guys, we have Nirvana, Blasphemy, and Soul. Oh my, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Nirvana, Blasphemy, little powdery and so Nirvana blasphemy soul so that is all six in the third row and now you guys I am going to get ready to try these out and do a quick little mini look for you guys so we can see how they perform on the eyes I'll be right back the first color that is calling my name that I want to dip into is this color right here called Blasphemy. And this is just like a light, light brown. Like a nice light tan. Or a peachy brown, it's sort of peachy. Let me pull you guys in closer so you can see.
And um, like you guys know, like I told you, there is there's some kick up, quite a good amount of kick up, which is to be expected. Well, I mean, for me, I don't know about you guys how you feel about it, but I know for me, I I don't even think about it anymore because I just be like, okay. But I still love the color payoff of this palette, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so next I am going to go into Luna, which is this light brown right here. I really don't even know what kind of look I want to look, what look, what kind of look I want, what is wrong with me? Not what kind of look I want to look for, what kind of look I want to go for. I don't know what kind of look I'm going to go for, you guys, because, to be honest, that green is calling my name, but then again, I like that gold. These are some really pretty colors. They're super rich. They are super rich. All right, so next, you guys, I'm going to go into this really pretty deep, deep, deep brown right here. And it is called Hades, which means hell in Greek, if I'm correct, if I remember correctly. Hades means hell, or Hades is hell in Greek mythology. Yeah. And I would recommend... For those of you who don't, um, who do your, your face makeup first before your eyeshadow, that you probably would want to put like some tape underneath there because as you can see there's a little fallout, but I do my eyeshadow first and then I do my, um, foundation so it doesn't bother me. But if you do your foundation first, then yeah, you, you most definitely would want to put some kind of tape or maybe some powder or something down there just to protect your foundation because you don't want to have to do that all up again that would really suck yeah all right i'm gonna speed this up because this is gonna take way too long with me talking through usually when i do videos for you guys do you guys know this i never talk through my videos i always speed it up and i just what i do is i listen to music <laughs> while i'm doing my makeup because i like to like to listen to music and I also be feeling like y'all don't hear me talk through the whole damn video. So I'd be like, girl, just speed it up. Listen to your music. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Here's the time. <laughs> and finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back okay you guys so here I am back with the final look um, let me get a little closer so you guys can see I mainly stuck to that really pretty green Poseidon and this gold right here and like some of the brown for transition but yeah I think it came out really nice I like this palette. Of course, once again, Bad Habit has done it. You know, they've done what we expect them to do. And like I said before, the only thing is that there is some kick up and some fallout. If you don't like that, then this probably isn't a palette for you. But if you, you know, know how to deal with it or you choose to deal with it, then yeah, this palette is for you. 
Once again, it was $16. It's an 18 color palette and it is on the Shop Hush app. So yeah, I think it was a good purchase. Um, the colors blended nicely. I like it and I will be using it in the future. So with all of that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. I appreciate you guys for coming back. And don't forget, if you have not subscribed yet, then what are you waiting on? Subscribe to your girl. And hit the notification bell, too, so you know when I make another video. And come back and see me. And until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.